a boneless prime rib. Welcome back friends, thank you for tuning in again, another episode of the Backyard Warrior. Today we're cooking a boneless prime rib. This is a 7 pounder prime rib from Walmart, choice grade, and today I'm going to reverse sear this one on a PK grill. We're going to pat this thing dry. Not much trimming on this one to do all this fat cap will stay this chunk of fat will stay it's not gonna bother me anyway it's not gonna affect the cook so now i'm gonna score it a little bit season it and then let it rest a little bit with the seasoning first thing first a few scores here a little bit of olive oil spray have the rub stick to it and it adds a little bit of flavor as well so this is all tacky now I'm using this Kindles Buddy Steakhouse to my surprise this stuff is good man I tried it on a few steaks And Kinder is known to make some clean rubs, not too much junk on it. So we're gonna go liberal with this rub, all sides. last one all right there we go we're gonna put it on this wire rack and let it chill in the fridge for a couple of hours added some pecan chunks here for a little bit of a smoke should be good all right my charcoal is ready I push this charcoal to the end sort of like a, a snake method So the charcoal will burn this way, this vent underneath is open, this one is closed and now we're gonna close this grill, keep this one closed and this one open and this will take a little bit of time before it gets to temp. As soon as it gets to 250 I'll put the prime rib on this side here on the indirect zone alright. So we're cooking at 225 right now. Gonna place We're gonna place this primary this chunk of fat towards the fire here. Let it render a little bit. Alright, an hour and a half into this cook and we're looking pretty good almost 95 
Yep, average 95. So we got a little bit more to go. We're gonna flip this. Let's this this side charred a little bit cook even we're gonna let this cook for maybe uh, let's say another hour before we check back again so prime rib just hit 120 now we're gonna sear it for a little bit oh look at this nice beautiful I'm liking the color on this one here let me see this thing give it maybe 30 seconds on each side beautiful All right, that should be enough. Now we're gonna rest this prime rib for maybe 15, 20 minutes. Prime rib rested for a little bit. We're gonna get rid of butcher twine first. favorite part of the ribeye This is it for this one. Thank you for tuning in again. If you like this content, please share, comment, like, all that good stuff. Subscribe. It helps a great deal. Until the next one, stay safe and bye-bye.